Hi there and welcome to admin software tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about um, adding some content and menus to your new website. Um, first of all this is the default view of, of the site. This is what you'll see once the site has been set up. Um, and then from here you need to start adding content and menus to your, to your website. Um, so first of all you need to log in with your username and password that was emailed to you. log in and you'll see the menu will change and you'll have create content, administer and my account. Um, in my account you'll see any activities and things that that's happened, how long you've been a member for, any history on the account and you can also change your username, password, things like that. Um, on the create content you'll have um, two options, you can create a page which is a normal website page or you can create a story which is similar to a blog entry people can add comments and their view of, of the topic that you, you've got on, on the page itself um, so basically let's just quickly go into the page option and see how we can create content here okay, so once you click on the create page this is what will be displayed to you First of all, it'll give you an option to enter the title of the, the page that you want to create. Um, and then the body of the text or the page is where you're going to be creating your content. Um, on here you can type in text. Um, it's got a, a er editor that it's very similar to using Word. If you can use Word, you're not going to um, have too much trouble using this. Um, I'm not going to go through all the options. It's got basic stuff like bold, italic, underline. You can change the the font font type of it, the size. Also change the color, and you can highlight stuff as well. So it's not very nice, but um, I'm sure you get the general idea. You can have it centered. You can add stuff like flash um, images, tables. You can add horizontal lines, smiley faces. Um, if you want to insert special characters that's not on your keyboard, you can just click on that and it will insert pop up a window here. You just choose it, so say for instance, on that, it will put that in, and so forth. You can also um, click on that and it will go up full screen, which is nice if you're going to be creating a big page. Um, so you don't have to scroll down the whole time. Once you finish, you just click on the minimize button again. So let's just leave that's going to be our body of the text. Um, and publish options. Yeah, you have to have it published, otherwise it's not going to be um, available to people to view. You can also have it to be displayed on the front page if, if you want to have a have it to be shown on on the home page of the site. So let's do that. Um, you can add some author information. Um, this has to be your username. If you type in a different name that doesn't exist, then um, it's just going to give you an error. You can leave it blank to have it posted as anonymous. Um, you can enable people to add comments to it. So let's choose read and write, which means people can um, add their comments and views to the article. Um, this is just a revision information. If you change it later on, you can create a new revision. Um, and while well, this is just input format, you can leave it on filtered HTML, it really doesn't matter. So once you're done, you can click on preview. It will show you a preview. Oh, we forgot to put in a title. That will give you an error if field is required. You can click on preview. And there at the top, you can see it's not very big now, but that's basically what it's going to look like. Um, and then click on save. So now, if you click on home, you'll see there's your new um, article and say for instance somebody comes and they want to add a comment then they put in a subject they can add their comment and they click on preview and then they click on save and then it will show their comment there so that's the basics of adding an article or a page to your site. 
if you want to have extra menus and stuff on the side here you can basically find that on the administrator and then you have to go to blocks the stuff on the side here is called blocks that's as you can see here there's a left sidebar there's a right sidebar there's a header it just shows you all the available options there's content footer um, so let's quickly add a menu we're going to add it to the right sidebar right sidebar so it's going to be displayed here so on here it, it basically breaks it down into categories where each um, block is going to be displayed so you can have maybe who's new you can put that on the left sidebar um, who's online uh, let's put that on the right one um, recent comments uh, maybe put it on the header um, and then I think that's enough you just click on save blocks and you'll see it will update it we haven't configured a um, primary menu yet primary links yet so we'll go do that now but it's basically displayed here so click on administer again and then you go to menus click on primary links and then we're going to add a new menu um, so the path of the menu would be the path or the link to your um, your article that that you want to have it linked to the easiest way to get the the the, um, the link or the the path to the, uh, a page is to actually open the page and the path will be displayed on the top here so I'm going to open this in a new um, tab I'm using Firefox by the oh, uh, Internet Explorer 8 by the way um, so it depends on the web browser to use but mine allows me to open pages in a new tab so you right click on home say open a new tab and it's going to go here so then I want to click on the page that we've created previously so yeah there's a new page and then it will show me the address or path at the top here so that's the path I want to copy let's copy that and I'll paste that into the path option there and then I'm going to give the menu a name I say page one and you can give it a short description um, must be enabled otherwise it won't show um, if the menu has sub menu items you can have it to expand we're not going to have it um, to have sub menus at the moment um, if you create a, if you want to create a sub menu you have to choose under which menu option it's it's going to be all oh, let's do that let me let me add show you um, later on once we've done this and then we click on save so after you've done that then you'll see under primary links it will display page one once you click on that it will go to the article so you would probably want to change this text let me quickly show you how you go to administer blocks you look for the primary links click on configure and then you can change the block title saying menu one and then you click on save block that will change it to menu one okay so we want to add a sub menu below this one now so let's quickly create another page uh, create content um, let's do story give it a name story one text change some text yeah and then we want we don't want it to be on the front page because this is going to be a sub menu and uh, that, that's basically all we can save okay so once it's been created it will show you the path at the top already so that's the path you want to copy copy it directly otherwise you, you, you're gonna um, 
need to go back and find 